And this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an AI system that people are now using to generate millions of views on different platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I've built a complete AI agent on NAN that removes any friction to get started on this by yourself. And I will be giving away the templates for free at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. If you're new around here, then hi, my name is Renee. I'm the founder of Wingrow, an AI automation and operations agency that's generated over 500K in revenue in the last year alone. This channel is focused on teaching you how we fix real business issues with AI and operations. I've also just created a free school group that you can now join to learn more about AI and how you can automate things. The link is going to be down below in the description, so feel free to join if you're interested into AI and automations. Okay, so first, before getting into the build itself, I wanted to show you guys what is actually possible to do with VO3 right now. I found two channels that show the perfect example, and those two channels have been generating over 40 million views together, I think, at this point. Uh, over 500k subscribers as well. So, only vlog here is one of them. Check this out. So, mm -hmm. the king signed a law banning prayer for 30 days. Obviously, I prayed. Let's see how that goes. All right, guys, it's official. They're throwing me into the lion's den. I'll film what I can, Dre, and if I survive, this is gonna blow up. All right, welcome to my crib. That one's asleep, that one's just staring at me. Honestly, they're kind of chill, but I'm whispering because I really don't want to wake the angry one. Morning, folks, still here, and they are too. That one's been staring at me since sunset. Starting to think they like me. All right, made it out, thank God, literally. If you watch till the end, comment what you think, and hey, maybe I come back if y'all want part two. Hey, everyone. Actually, super funny. There's another one here that's been popping on TikTok. So Yeti Vlog Life. Finally meeting Bigfoot Vlogs, my favorite vlogger in the wild. I never miss a uh, episode. You the best. <laughs> so do you think you could take on a hundred gorillas? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you get the gist of it. Now let's get right into the build so you can do this yourself. By the way, guys, it always amazes me how 80 plus percent of you guys are watching this video right now and you're not currently subscribed. Please, if you like the content that we've been doing, subscribe and activate that bell because there's more of this that's coming. Okay, guys, so here's an overview of how it looks. So this is a complete AI agent built with the help of NAN and Airtable. And also the uh, AI that we use is VO3. So that's the model that we use. We also use Claude and ChatGPT, okay? so. The main AI looks like this, the main workflow. We've also got two sub workflows that I'm going to be showing you uh, right after, but essentially you look like this. But first to understand what's going on here, I need to explain to you the way I've built it. Okay. Because why do we use an AI agent in the first place? Okay. You use an AI agent instead of a simple AI when you need to take a decision. Okay. There's a need for a decision and more complexity. If the only thing that you do is basically create me a script um, and then you pass some information, you don't really need an AI agent. In our case here, we've built the AI agents to work with Telegram as a trigger. So Telegram is the chat that uh, we give instructions to the AI and then it outputs the video. Uh, we've, we're using ChatGPT 4.1 right now to act as the model of the AI agent. We have a memory basically node that's connected to Super, Superbase. And then we have different tools here. So we have a profile picker. I'm going to show you how we create different profiles. Uh, we have a search trend profile, which um, is not built in the current demo that I'm giving you guys, but uh, this is an upgrade that we can do. We have the script agent. So the agent that's going to create the scripts of the video first that we need to generate. And then the, we have the video generation tool itself. Okay. So what we do is essentially we trigger uh, via Telegram or the chat inside in and and we say create me a script with this profile so that could be like Yoda. I'm going to show you an example with this one. Um, and then it's going to go pick the profile, then it's going to write the script and then it's going to go video generation and push it back to us. Okay. Uh, but the first thing here is how do we create a profile, right? And why do we create a profile? Well, well if you're doing a channel in which you want to do the same content with the same characters and the same description of the characters, essentially, and you want to be consistent, we want to be building profiles with those distinctions, essentially, okay? The way I have did this is basically build an interface on our table here, okay? So this is super simple. I have a table for profiles. I have a table for scripts. 
I'm going to show you how this is all generated. Uh, and then if I go into the interfaces, I have my different profiles. So you could be generating videos for, you know, different characters, Yoda, Yeti, um, and then we're going to create a new one. So let's do this right now. Let's actually create a new profile and show you what's going on in the back end. Okay. So we have Yoda, we have Yeti. Let me create Stitch, uh, not Switch, Stitch from Disney. Um, so I'm going to say this is a Disney character. And let's just click create. And then the way we basically make the AI create a good description is I have a, a button here, click profile, okay? And this is gonna link right here to, we receive the information profile, we get uh, the profile itself, then we create the profile. So the prompt looks like this. Don't worry, you don't have to copy this. I'm gonna be giving uh, you guys the free template so that you can copy this. But basically after my iterations, this is, uh, what I've decided to build as a prompt. And then we output, we update the profile on Airtable, okay? So this is like Google Sheet, but I prefer doing my stuff on Airtable since everything I have is there, okay? So let's do just that, execute workflow, just so you guys see the um, real execution actually. Create profile and let me get back right into here. So as you can see, uh, we receive the profile, we get the profile in, in, inside our table. It's like a two-step process. And then uh, right now the AI is actually thinking um, and making a characteristic. We use Cloud for this because I prefer Cloud 4.0 much more than ChatGPT when it comes to writing. I think Cloud is way better. And experience has basically given me reason on this so far, but we, we never know with the uh, AI models, right? It can always change. So this is taking a little bit of time, but then boom, we have the profile itself and then we can go read. So it basically create an entire uh, profile based on physical appearance, signature style, clothing, um, different characteristics. Um, and if you read this, basically because it's a well-known Disney characters, it's basically gonna model it to uh, the Disney characters here, okay? So once we have a profile, what we can do is ask the AI now, to create a script and create a video out of it, okay? So I'm gonna show you uh, now how we do this. Instead of using Telegram though, I'm gonna be using the chat inside here so you get to see the full thing working actually, okay? So let's do, um, let's use Stitch. So I will say create a script of Stitch going on vacation in Hawaii and generate a video, okay? Before doing that though, I just have to plug this again because this was like when I was doing some testing. Uh, when you do this, it uses VO and VO is quite expensive, okay? So it's like $46 per video. So when you do testing, make sure you're unplugged if you're testing, it just makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna launch this and comment as we go so you know exactly what's going on. So right now, uh, this command went into the set text and we went into the AI agent, the master AI agent itself. Then the first thing that we gotta do is get the profile. So this is our database of profile and it got stitch information, okay? Then it goes back to the AI agent on that's running on 4.1 and then it's going to the script agent. So let's see what the script agent is doing here. Basically, if we look at this execution, it received the profile, so all the characteristics that we're talking about. It went into the script writer AI agent that used Claude again, and it created a script. And we're gonna be able to see that script now here. So we have Stitch, uh, we have the title of the script, so Stitch Hawaiian Beach Adventure, and here we got the full script. Okay, here you're gonna notice that based on the prompt that we have, everything is carefully crafted so it works with VO3. So anything like the description of what's happening and also the type of shots that we're doing. And also if Stitch is talking, shouting something, it, it's also, it also says it, okay? Yeah. Then if we go back into the main agent here, essentially what it did is it pushed the script to the generate video and now we're waiting. So I'm gonna show you why we're waiting. Essentially, if we go back into the video generation workflow itself, we can see that we got the new script uh, with this two-step uh, workflow here. And then we push the video generation in the queue. So this is using file.run. I'm gonna show you this after. 
And then we have a wait of five minutes right now because we leave some time for the image generation itself. Then we're going to get back the link and push it back to Airtable. Okay. So while this is operating, what I'm going to do is show you what's uh, file AI. So if I go here, basically uh, VO tree is not available on the vertex Google AI, unless you're on the enterprise. So we have those uh, third party websites like file that's offering the VO tree. Um, model with the API as like a side service. Be aware though that it's pretty expensive. As you can see, this is 75 cents with audio on uh, for every second of video. So this can this can quickly rack up. But if you're doing a full production uh, with this, this is actually not so much expensive for what you're getting uh, in my honest opinion, okay? So let's go back to the main AI agent and let's just wait uh, two more minutes right now and we'll be back. All right, so we're back. The main AI finished uh, is five minute waiting period. And if we go back into the video generation flow right now, we can see that it's finished. So with my workflow, we're gonna see the link here and we're gonna be able to see uh, directly the kind of video there is. Ooh, Stitch make big mess. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty cool. Uh, the templates will be provided for free so that you can build this for yourself as well. The setup is pretty straightforward. What you need to be doing is make sure you have your API key connected for ChatGPT uh, because we use it here for the different models. Make sure that you also connect your Airtable with uh, the API here. And the template for the Airtable is also gonna be available so you don't have to modify the way uh, the tables are structured, you just have to apply it. Then uh, for the scripts agent and video generation here, if we go into the video generation, basically the authentication header, if I go back to here, it's a new credential. So you're gonna have uh, the name, which is gonna be authorization right here. And the value here, keep in mind, <clears throat> you will need to paste key like this before and then your full API key like this, okay? And you can find this API key if you go into your account here on file, the link is gonna be in the description. You can find it right here in the API key, you create a new key and then you paste this, okay? So make sure that you have this like this, you have the word key before because if you don't, this is not gonna work and write authorization like this as well. So once you have your header like this, you click save and then yes, close, and then you're gonna be using it for both API calls here, get video as well, okay? So this doesn't need to be modified. And for the script agent, whatever that use cloud, make sure you also have a cloud API key if you wanna use cloud. I recommend cloud for anything that's related to writing, okay? So yeah, that's just based on my experience, but if you wanna play with something else, feel free to use something else. The models can be changed at any time. All right, so hopefully you find this video very informative and you will have as much fun as I did playing with this. Hopefully you make some cool stuff as well. The possibilities are really limitless for this. And uh, by the way, if you want to create videos that are like 30 seconds, you will need to create many different clips with the same characters and basically edit them together to give something like uh, the Yeti or the uh, Oldie vlog life, okay? Um, if you like this video, please, please like, subscribe, and comment your feedback below. I really appreciate it. And then if you want the blueprints, everything is going to be inside our free school group that's available. The link is in the description, so feel free to join and download the templates for yourself.